Updated Wednesday, September 27, 2017 1.33 p.m. EDT 20,170,927 173,317 University of Louisville men's basketball coach Rick Patino and athletics director Tom Jurich have been placed on administrative leave until the next Athletics Association board meeting in October, a source close to Jurich told WDRB News. More University of Louisville men's basketball coach Rick Patino and athletics director Tom Jurich have been placed on administrative leave until the next Athletics Association board meeting in October, a source close to Jurich told WDRB News. More updated Wednesday, September 27, 2017 124 p.m. EDT 20,170,927 172,442 Just months before the U of L Athletics Association signed a $160 million extension of its lucrative apparel deal with Adidas, the company hired athletics director Tom Jurich's daughter Haley as an NCAA brand communications manager, according to her LinkedIn profile. More just months before the U of L Athletics Association signed a $160 million extension of its lucrative apparel deal with Adidas, the company hired athletics director Tom Jurich's daughter Haley as an NCAA brand communications manager, according to her LinkedIn profile. More updated Wednesday, September 27, 2017 11.53 a.m. EDT 20,170,927 155,306 If the University of Louisville wants to fire men's basketball coach Rick Pitino, it must first give Pitino at least 10 days written notice of the its reasons for doing so and an opportunity for Patino to present evidence, according to Patino's contract running through 2026. More if the University of Louisville wants to fire men's basketball coach Rick Patino, it must first give Patino at least 10 days written notice of the its reasons for doing so, and an opportunity for Patino to present evidence, according to Patino's contract running through 2026. More updated Friday, September 22, 2017 4:51 p.m. EDT 20,170,922 Rendering of proposed soccer stadium in Butcherton Mayor Greg Fisher is set to announce the details of a $200 million development in Butchertown that will include a stadium for Louisville City FC, the city's professional soccer team. More Mayor Greg Fisher is set to announce the details of a $200 million development in Butchertown that will include a stadium for Louisville City FC, the city's professional soccer team. More updated Thursday, September 21, 2017 4:55 p.m. EDT 20,170,921 205,525 GMTU.S Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch, Wright, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell appeared at an event at the University of Louisville on Thursday. AP Photo. S Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch defended his originalist approach to interpreting the Constitution before an audience at the University of Louisville on Thursday, saying other theories inevitably lead to judges making laws from the bench. More U.S. Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch defended his originalist approach to interpreting the Constitution before an audience at the University of Louisville on Thursday, saying other theories inevitably lead to judges making laws from the bench. More updated Monday, September 18, 2017 513 p.m. EDT 20,170,918-211,354 GMT JCPS Interim Superintendent Marty Pelaya Jefferson County Public Schools Interim Superintendent got an earful Monday from Republican lawmakers who don't like how the state's largest school district assigns students to schools based on facts factors broader than the location of their home. More Jefferson County Public Schools interim superintendent got an earful Monday from Republican lawmakers who don't like how the state's largest school district assigns students to schools based on factors broader than the location of their home. 
More updated Monday, September 18, 2017 1003 AM EDT 20170918 140345 Grommeyer Hall, University of Louis Belief All the issues U of L has faced since the forced departure of former President James Ramsey in 2016, none is more serious than the threat to its accreditation, which is the lifeblood of any university. More of all the issues U of L has faced since the forced departure of former President James Ramsey in 2016, none is more serious than the threat to its accreditation, which is the lifeblood of any university. More updated Friday, September 15, 2017 430 p.m. EDT 20170915 203016 GMT University of Louisville Board of Trustees Chairman David Grissom, June 9, 2017 The University of Louisville Board of Trustees plans to keep the names of candidates for the university presidency even finalists who may interview for the job, confidential as part of a strategy to attract the best applicants, board chairman J. David Grissom said Friday. More the University of Louisville Board of Trustees plans to keep the names of candidates for the university presidency, even finalists who may interview for the job, confidential as part of a strategy to attract the best applicants, board chairman J. David Grissom said Friday. More.